Welcome everybody to part two of episode 10. We spoke a little bit about PGS2 and made a full tier list of all the teams going there, our expectations, all that kind of stuff. And then uh, we also had a chat about Nations Cup, some of the rosters, some of our expectations. This was our first live episode. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments. And uh, yeah, enjoy the episode. I feel like it's so hard to predict anything on these events. Because mm -hmm. again, there's so many new teams, right? So many teams that haven't played an international in years. Like, how do you predict a Savim or a Tai Lu or a yeah. Friendly Fire? Like, it yeah. feels impossible. And then half of the other teams are like new rosters or there are teams like Navi who just go up and down all the time. Mm -hmm. Like, it feels impossible to me. Or like Sonics. Where, like, um, they seemed pretty solid last PGS. Now they got, like, what, fifth or something in Americas? Um, yeah. That's not a good look. For they have Pachinki Picado in Americas, right? Yeah, they do. Yeah, that's really weird. Um, that's weird that they did bad. Yeah. I mean, fourth, you know, is not bad, bad, but it's still kind of bad. For... In Americas, bro, yeah. if, you're not, if you're not top two, you're dog shit. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, cancel him, guys. He said it. <laughs> Oh my god, shit personality! I don't know, bro, like... Yeah, I kind of... It is weird, it is really weird that they did bad. I wonder, like, I wonder what happened there. I feel like it's... Who was, um, yeah. who was the team, though, that did good? It was, um... LG, Fumba. FF, Fumba, yeah. You know Crazy. what's fucked? This guy always pulls it off. That, that is, is Fumba, that is the like... old, that is the old lineup, right? Someone that said is that the old lineup. Together. That is the PCS5 yeah, yeah, yeah. lineup. Um, they With were the good. Guy. They were good, bro. In PCS it's... five, I made a, the the PCS is in the bag videos. You know they're they're about they're about <laughs> PCS five. I looked at them a PCS lot. PCS is in the bag. <laughs> um, he does it every time. This Silson guy, like he's their IG. He's pretty the goat. Sure, right? But you know what? He can't go to PNC because they're only allowed two players per team, and two players on his team have better stats than him. <laughs> it's yeah. so fucked, bro. It's so not fair. It's the same for Rello, by the way. Can't, he can't go because there's already two players on his team that have better stats. It is. So unfair, but we'll talk about that later. <clears throat> All right, let's start it. Um, do we just go one by one? Everybody has to pick a team, put them in the tier, and explain why. Yeah. EB, you start. Twisted Minds, S tier. Why? Because they're fucking goaded. They're fucking goaded. <laughs> I think that's fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. I think don't have to say much uh, more than that. I want to say, though, before I put anyone anywhere, I am gonna be uh, decent at where I put any EU and Korean teams. Yeah, China and and like APAC, I'm lost. Yeah, I've done the same thing, uh, Jimbo, and I posted a tweet and I was like, I don't really know the APAC teams, and then everybody was like, Oh my God, Cerberus in C tier, are you idiot? I was like, Okay, <laughs> bro, like, wait, what did SDK get? Um, Sixth? not close, I think. Not good. What? Yeah. SDK yeah. got 112 points. Dude, FF also came back hard. What Bro, the? FF, I didn't even... FF had one game. Um, wait, I'll pull it up. Where they got like 30 points almost. Where they got the mountaintop next to Pozo. You know, the yeah. super broken mountain next to the church? And they farmed the whole game. It was fucking crazy. If I pull this up, I'm going to be able to see it. Did they have um, 16 kills that game, I guess? Yeah, it's their six. It has to be their sixteen kill game. Yeah, and then that was the start of the fucking massive comeback. They get twenty two right after, and they get fourteen here, seven here. They're fucking back at that point, you know. Yeah. And they were, if you uh, if you look at them before these games, they were in the bin, bro. After day one, they had twelve points, and I think they weren't even fine after day two. Um. Yeah, after day two, they're on 61. So they have 12, and then they have 49, and then they just pull up hard on the last day. Where they literally yeah. get, like, another... What's that, 80 points on the last day? Yeah. Like, holy shit. Yeah. LG is so consistent as well. Yeah. So, what's your guys' record playing scrims in points you've got in scrims? I have You guys have no a record? Idea. Okay. Don't care. I don't know. 
That shit is funny though. Like, yeah. I find it really funny to like try and uh, have a record and beat it in scrims. It's really fun. <laughs> yeah, I guess. And by record? the way, okay, while we do the tier list, like yeah. it does, it's not a leaderboard, right? Like if somebody's in C tier, for example, <gasps> they can still, for me at least, B tier means you can still win the event. It's just not very likely. Yeah, it's just the odds, right? Yeah. And then mm. D tier is like, you're lucky if you make finals, kind of. And C tier yeah. is like, you're lucky if you make top eight, I would say. You guys agree with Who's... that? S tier is Say like, again, you less? expect them to dominate. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because I do that, right? I, for example, Cerberus, right? I'll do this as a pick. I'll put them in B. And then people are like, oh, but they got fifth. But I think with their playstyle, they will just never win a tournament. So I don't want to mm -hmm. put them in A. Okay. Um, I think they're, they're usually always making finals. Um, and they're usually top eight in finals. But I feel like they never win a tournament. So I'll put them in B. Yeah. Go. Um, we take something funky. I can put... Um... What is game PT? So like I'm looking at Navi right, and I'm like torn between putting them on S or A. Okay. Because I think they deserve an S because they won the previous one or the PGC they won that I in would Dubai. Uh, they also play a lot better when there's more like meaning to the tournament. Like Navi plays good uh, on LAN. They play better in LAN than they do online. Yeah, they play like shit and screams because I think they just don't care. They're not like disciplined enough to like yeah. try their hardest. I would, I would put them in S tier. I think they can. I think they still got everything they. Like they, they were a really good team. They can be like bad, but they can also be really fucking dominant. Yeah, I would have put them in A just because of the chance that they could be bad. But I understand S kind of. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, it's EB. It's your turn. Yeah, I'm going to do Luminosity, but with Luminosity, I'm like, I know they're really good in them, like, they are the best team in NA, but, like, I'm thinking between A or B, because I feel like the finals, their play style, it's just, I don't know, too passive. I don't know. I just feel like they're never really, like, coming through. Mm -hmm. I don't have all the placements, like, I don't fully remember what they did. I don't even think they made the finals in the last... Uh, did they make finals in... They uh... made finals, and they got 15th or something. 15th, 14th. Yeah, they just... Th yeah, just... I think I'm also going to put them in B. I feel like they're kind of like Cerberus. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to put them in B, Luminosity. Ahead or because behind I just... Cerberus. Oh, does that matter? Yeah. <laughs> this means better Ooh. than Cerberus. This means worse. Oh, I didn't know that. I um I compared uh, LG's tournament games like PG's international games to some of their like NA PCS games once and they send it a lot more in internationals mm -hmm. and they play a lot more edge in NA. I mean it's obvious why because it's so easy in NA to just kill every team you come across. Yeah. But but they are a good fighting team. Yeah. And I think they do send it way too much in internationals. Yeah, they did. They did dominate the groups, though. That, I think that's I'm the gonna thing. Keep them in. They dominated group, but they dominated like groups. They sucked in winners bracket. They dominated lower bracket. Like they were just farming the the weaker lobbies, you know. Mm -hmm. Um. But I still think they have. A, I would. Let's. I think I. I I'm putting them in A. Put okay. them in A. I, I still think, think they reasonable. have a better. Yeah, I. I still think they have like. They have a really good understanding of the game. I feel like, and like you said, they're a good fighting team. I think also yeah, they fumbled once. They have they didn't have bad internationals before, right? Like they played well at PGC twenty twenty two and shit. They got like yeah. fifth or fourth. I think they got fourth or third or something. I oh, think yeah, that correct, fifth correct. or fourth in Dubai is because they send it too much. Though so if they yeah. just like play more edge, they they would get more points. Yeah. Um, I think A is really good. Yeah, I think that makes a lot of sense. Um. I am putting 4AM in low S tier. I think they're better than Navi. But I think they're just better than Navi because they're like in their honeymoon. Um, Oof. They've just pulled up a new lineup. Um, they seem super refreshed. They knew Happy really sucked on LAN. 
and seven at four a.m. also sucked in in PGS finals. Um, but I think they're in the honeymoon, and I think they're good contenders to win this tournament. It's crazy what happened with that old new uh, new happy lineup. They won worlds, and after that, at every LAN or international, they just like. Yeah, I don't know. They just I was just about lose. to say, when was the last time you had uh, CP on Ingen Breed LAN and do good? Well, PGC 2021. <laughs> <laughs> but that was not even on LAN. They were playing online True. from home. So, I don't know. I have yet to see... Uh, Is he cheating or I, what? I really like I like uh, I like those two players, CP on and HSM. Like yeah. The in-game leader and the kill feed tracker and their play style. I really like watching them. But I've yet to see them actually play good on actual like international LAN. I was just going to write it down to New Happy was broken. Kind of, you know, like that they had bad, big issues, and yeah, that could be it. That was what I was writing it down to. But you make a, like it's a really good point. Um, I don't know. I don't, you know, I'm I'm not believing in the in the Navi S tier. Um, if you guys don't believe in the four AM S tier, it's it's how it works. It's gonna be a yeah. yeah. It's gonna be yeah, a yeah. compromise. Nobody's gonna be happy at the end, you know. <laughs> we go again. Yeah. Um, I want to take. Donawa and put them in A tier. They would like I, I really believe in that Korean lineup. Yeah. It looks like they are doing really good right now. And Seoul is the best player in the world. Yeah. And uh they have just a insane like roster. It seems to be working out right now, but Korea hasn't really been best on LAN ever. But if anyone's gonna do it right now, it's them. Ahead of Luminosity so, then, yeah? yeah? Yeah, yeah. I would put them ahead. They are... Bro, Seoul had 50 kills in 18 games or whatever it was. Didn't he have 60? <laughs> I don't know, but that is insane. Wait, are you talking about PGS2? Yeah, PGS1, I don't one, which one? Or no, it was the PGS2 qualifier. PGS2 qualifiers. I can look he it up. 50 kills, bro. 50 kills. And he's the ideal. Bro, he has 65 in 24. It must be 20. It was yeah. Peel, Peel That's with 50 good. kills and IGL. That is impressive, bro. bro. Yeah, but I think it's It's different. not impressive if you're Peel. Yeah, yeah, it's not impressive. Because I looked over every Danova game to see what he was doing. Uh, I mean, to see what Sol was doing. And he wasn't doing Peel shit. Yeah. He wasn't just playing for himself and to get, like, to sneak on people and yeah. get kills. And he was playing with his team and the kills just came to Peel him. Peel is using three people to feed him kills. Sol is not doing that. Yeah. And Sol has 15 more. Like, Jesus Christ. I'm going to just put on the on bus, screen really quick. On the bus with Danova, I was talking with them and had their uh, manager translate. And yeah. they asked me who I thought was the best player in in Korea. And I think I said Saluto or Inonix. Yeah. But it's definitely so. Yeah. 100%. Like, right now, that, that he, I think he is the best player in the world right now. Um, is it my turn? I think it is, right? No. What did Genji get? Uh, Genji? Second. Second, only 15 points. They, they looked uh, good. Um, I respect Bio. They looked good. Uh, I wasn't expecting them to look so good, to be honest. Like, they didn't, they didn't look strong before, but now with this lineup, they look good. Who did they replace? Um, Foxy, maybe? Foxy, yeah. I never really understood that pickup for some reason, Foxy. It, it, I thought it was just Pio and friends, you know? It was it was the bagel pile lineup where people were like, "Oh, it's just Pio and friends," and then um, they did, you know, not terribly, but kind of as expected, I would say. They also got that coach Esther back, I think, or like he never he was never the coach, but I Esther joined him again, right, as a coach. Yeah, I, felt, I think so. I think experience in PUBG just beats everything. Literally, that's why they do so good. Maybe. I mean, they don't do so good, but. What I'm saying is, like, if you have to choose between experience or skill, and you don't already have someone with experience on your team, yeah, then you pick experience. I also think some of these Asian teams have the no fucks given factor. Like, yeah. imagine you're the IGL, but you're also the owner of the team, and you're fucking rich. Why would you yeah. ever feel any pressure? Why would you ever care? Yeah, you can just go and have fun. And mm -hmm. that's Aix left, right? But the same is true for Pio. He's achieved everything. He's been chilling. He's just there to have some fun. 
actually still um, he's still putting up numbers every time. Yeah, he's yeah. hella consistent. For sure. But I'm saying he never has any pressure. He never Maybe. has to worry, you know? Yeah, but that's what you say. But I remember him saying that he felt pressure, though. Yeah? I, I think I think all... He needs to work on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I also not. remember uh, Twist, uh, was it Bartolin saying something about they had to choose between hot dropping Rosa with Perro or 4 a.m. in apps. Like, Godri owns uh, 4 a.m., <laughs> right? He pays well, I've heard. Uh, and I've heard <laughs> that Axel doesn't pay as well as 4 a.m., so... So they hot drop Perro. So they, they hot drop Perro, because <laughs> they have more to care about than... <laughs> That's, yeah, that's fucking fair. funny. I don't know. I th he was probably joking, but like, there's probably that's more funny. to that. But imagine, bro. Imagine your teammate owns the team. Isn't that just fucked? Like, you throw, yeah. a, you throw a game or you don't go to res him, and he's like, yep, yeah, that's a salary cut. It's, um, that's, that's... it's interesting. Yeah. Uh, your turn, Evie. Jesus. Let's see. <laughs> see what you're writing. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you, got, uh, you got a little louder throughout the podcast. Yeah. Who? Tai Lu. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to put Tai Lu in. I don't really know that much about China. I don't really watch it. But I do really like I was, like the, their IGL with uh, Jao uh, Young. Mm -hmm. He used to play for um, Ifty. He was their IGL for Ifty, right? Mm -hmm. And I always really was like, I think Tai Lu in, I think B. I B? think B. Yeah, in front of Cerberus, though, I do think they're better. I, yeah, I would put them lower. I think they're like mega cracked, but I don't really like their, their IGLing. I feel like they make a lot of like crazy plays for no reason and stuff. But it's kind of China. It's kind of China. You just go for a yeah. lot of crazy plays to try and win the game. Um, I think they did pretty good as well. I think they made a roster change, maybe, and they did. I think they they made it in the last game. I think. Um, I think they qualified in the last match. I mean, um, they have Shen. I just they yeah. have Shen, and I feel like Shen is super cracked. I think B. I think B is fair. I think B is fair for Taidu. Yeah, I think it's okay. Um, I'm gonna go. We have to we have to leave phase for Jimbo, okay, Eb. We have to make sure he gets it. No, yeah, does he? Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know about that. I don't know about it. Because I think it's fucking cringe to put yourself in uh, on the tier list. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, friendly fire and D. I like them. Oh. I think they're cool guys, but. You know, we don't have to say these things. I don't think they're on that level. We don't have to say these things. <laughs> you do if you're making a tier list, bro. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's just, it's, it's... Yeah. Oh, you mean, you mean say the good things? Yeah, say yeah, the good yeah. things. But I mean, I do yeah. like them, you know? But I just don't think they're at that level yet. And I they mean, I'm probably looking forward don't think so either. I'm looking forward to see Pixel on Len. Yeah. First of all, I think that uh, he kind of deserved it, definitely. Happy for him. Like, out of... Uh... Yeah, I'm just curious. If I, if I look at FF... I don't really care too much about, like, uh, you know, I just I want to see how Pixel does on LEN, because this is his first LEN, I think. Makes it kind of interesting to watch them for me. He played, like, a tiny German LAN, and he was fucking cracked. He I had, played like... GLL as well, I think, actually. GLL LEN. No, Maybe, I... yeah. Yeah, I think that's fair. D is fair, I think, for them, for sure. Somebody has to go in D tier. Yeah. Next. Mm. Wait, was it? Yeah, you did Tylo. Yeah. Could I, uh, Wait, could I did I skip face? your turn, Jimbo? Sorry, I think it was. Yeah, I but it would have been. Could, I can just do this one. Yeah. It's fine. I just put ourselves in a in front of uh, LG. Um, a in front of LG, but not in front of Danua. No. Okay. Oh. I would like. I don't want to put us in front of Danua because of Soul's performance. But if it wasn't that good, I would put us in front. Too much I respect. I feel like they they have more time. Yeah, did they? Yeah. Okay, phase in A. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think phase is uh I think phase is kind of like Navi, but 
not as cracked on their good days. I would have put Navi in A and FaZe in B, just because FaZe can be like a top A team, but they can also be like a top C team, so. Um, I don't agree. <laughs> you don't have to. And that's a it. Or B. <laughs> I don't, I don't agree. I, okay, listen, the, the thing that I, I th agree the least with here is probably Navi. I just don't think a team that's uh, so inconsistent can be an S. But, I yeah. think that's a good. Yeah, I think that's valid. I think at the okay at the end, everybody should say what they least agree with. Okay, when the list yeah, is done. Yeah, sure, sure. All right, um, Navi. I think that's a good idea. But my turn, right? Uh, yes. Uh, wait. Sarvim changed their loot spots, by the way, already. I think uh, they, they were streaming to. yesterday. I kind of wanna, I kind of wanna check it real fast before. What did they? I mean, it takes too much. Whatever. Um, Do them after. I'll I'll look it up while you're think while you're doing another pick. I think I'm gonna put Sarvem in C. Mm -hmm. I don't think they're D tier because I think they're a really good fighting team, and um, I we just haven't seen enough from them to put them higher than that. You can't put them right next to Tyloo or Cerberus. I think C for Sarvem is uh, yeah. I think is uh, is is fair. Sure. Do you want to go again, Jimbo? Then we have the right order again. I'll put... Um... Oh, what the fuck did I just do? Oh, Sorry no. Oh, no. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did one team disappear behind 17 Gaming? Or did no, you they're just the dark. Color? <laughs> they're just oh. dark. <laughs> <laughs> they're just dark. Okay, presentation mode is weird. We're not touching that again. Anyways, moving I on. I want to put... Sonics in B tier instead of A tier at the front of Tyloo, just because of their uh, bad uh, NA performance. If yeah. not, that would put them somewhere in A tier. I, their recent performance at, um, I keep forgetting, Malaysia, what did they get? They got, they played decent, they, right? They got, they got eighth in the end, but they played Wait, decent. Wait, what? They Dude, were like, I thought they were... the leaderboard was super stacked. Um, yeah, seven points away from fifth. Like, yeah. they, they were, I thought yeah. they got top four. Yeah, they were really close to getting like a top three or something. Um, but one good game, and they would have been like fourth or something like that. Yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> okay. All right, um, shiny blood. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put. Ah, bro! Like some like uh, for example, right? I wanna put. I'm thinking about putting, Pero. Indeed, here. Ooh, but you probably just that. can't. I, I would agree with. I would agree with that. I want to put them here, but I think I'm gonna. Yeah, I think I'm gonna they're fucking stomp bikes left in Buxanza, so he's gonna go straight to fucking dick tier. Uh, okay. He's gonna get dicked. Um, I'm gonna put them in C. They I've have just... been struggling at the internationals, though, right? They, they never have really sucked showed anything. at every international, kind of. Okay. And they, they're it. really good in China, and they suck at every international. Um, Chinese teams in general, though they kind of, kind of a little bit, yeah. Um, I think they're a big fucking name, but they were really, really bad at PGS. Um, and they were essentially just Ice Lift. Yeah, um, okay. So I don't putting them at the back of C tier. Okay, fair enough. My t my turn, right? Mm hmm. Um, I mean, we got 17 still left, you know? Mm -hmm. I definitely put, would put 17, I think, with how they've been playing the recent internationals, definitely on S tier. Mm -hmm. For some reason, I would put them... Um, I would put them behind Twisted. They only got eighth place in their last qualifier, by the way. Because there was no. The, there was no incentive. This was fucked, by the way. Yeah, uh, there was no incentive, right? That's why I don't care the about one. that last one. Um, there is zero prize pool and zero PGC points in this. But there is yeah, 4 like a.m., Pero, and 17 are all playing. I think that's garbage. And there's I think... so many ways to look at it, though. You can also look at it the other way that, like, if there's no prize pool, no incentive, should they do good also? Like... Yeah, but you can. 
but you don't have to, right? Like some teams yeah. will just go chill. Some teams, like you said earlier, right? Like Navi doesn't doesn't perform well when they don't have to. Seventeen could be the same thing. Um, so uh, I think you cannot really read too much into the into these performances. You, mean, um, you got a you got a body mode, Kobo? <laughs> yeah, bro, it's a fucking banger. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I think, by the way, we always complain about fucking everything, right? But the fact that we got PGC points for these qualifiers and some other regions had zero or almost zero, um, is really good. Like, we yeah, have of to course. Be happy I mean, that's just, about that. That's the standard. That's how it should be. Yeah, but usually like... <laughs> other regions are how it should be, and we're complaining, right? So, like, when yeah. when Europe does shit right, I feel like they deserve some credit because. Mm -hmm. I was watching this, and uh, it was a, it was a similar story where um, until the very end, seventeen was like bottom four or something with New Happy. Um, they were doing nothing. They were last place, dead last place, behind Rainbow Style, the Chosen Click, New Happy. You know, they just played a good last weekend and a, like a decent set, like third day, I think. Um, no, they were still last after the third day, and then they pulled up on the last day, right? And yeah. they didn't have to give a shit, because they're just invited, and there's nothing to play for, and I think that that's fucking bad. Didn't 17 had a big, big massive day in uh, Malaysia, by the way? Yeah. Um, but they, I think they had a really good day too, and then they just snaked it out on the last day. They started off really rough too, this tournament, no? With the whole... They went to the lower bracket, I think, no? Uh, I don't... Yeah, they got bullied into lower bracket by Sonics. Because Sonics, yeah. Sonics played on the first day, and Sonics got 60 points on the first day, or something. So they just went and griefed 17, and 17 were looking lost. They could, yeah, not, they could not play out of other spots. They could only play Pachinki Picado. Um, they, get, some... they had four games or something, sorry. They had two games hot dropping or something, and then they played four games outside of Pachinki Picado, and they yeah. got like one point per game or something. Like, they sucked. But I still, I still rate them S tier. I still think yeah. when they get it together, but I don't think they should be in front of Twisted. I kind of feel like they should be in front of 4AM because 4AM haven't really proved that. Uh, I think it's good like this. I'm, yeah. I'm keeping it here. I think it's good. I agree. Bro, I just looked at 17 Gaming in PGS2. You, can you pull up the leaderboard of PGS2? Ah, uh, sorry. PGS1? PGS, PGS1, yeah. I can pull like, up if everything. You, if you look at that leaderboard... Um, leaderboard? Final leaderboard, yeah. They won with 157 points. And you guys are under them. Pretty much yeah. 30 points behind. They played... Honestly, like... There is nothing impressive with winning with 150 points. That's just three... Decently good days. They had 50, yeah. 40, and like 59 points. Yeah. It's, but, it's just like actual, just like good PUBG, while everyone else kind of played like average, I guess. PUBG. Also, they had a 19 point game in the last game where half of the teams were playing for nothing. Yeah. Um, last game was ending left and, and right. They, West already, they already won. They also got gifted in the last game and they had. On the last day, they got a four kill win, fully gifted. Like four kill win is they did crazy. get gifted, but that's how you that's and how then, you win. Yeah, these. yeah. but they, they get a second place with some kills, and then they get a second kill, zero kill second place, and a zero kill third place. Like all they did was drive to the center and prone, and get mega placements. So like their points look like they're even more than they really are. Kind of is my opinion. Yeah, kind of what I'm thinking too when I see it. It's just like. 150 points and winning, it's not a lot of points. It's not crazy, at least. Yeah. Sorry to cut you off. So when you see people when you see people win, you usually see them, like, get, like, 80-point days and stuff. Yeah. I mean, they still play good, and I think they adapted really well. Um, like, they got griefed, and then they just decided to send center and pray um, so that nobody could grief them. And it worked really, really well. But for me, it's more like, like the same. Like they did, they played pretty good at last Worlds as well. You know, like uh, 
in yeah, Dubai, were... and they and the reason why you should put them there is just because like you know they're a team that is capable of winning it. You know what I mean? Look yeah, at they got their gifted, results, they... bro. Like they're they are they are always second place. They're super yeah, they're mega consistent. consistent. Yeah. They're the twisted yeah. minds of China. Yeah. Um, yeah. Holy shit! Five hundred thousand second place. Second second place at PGC twenty twenty two. Second place yeah. at PCS seven. Uh, fifth at PCS six. Uh, second place at PCL. Third place at PCL. So that's the, like the China equivalent to PCS kind of thing. Um, and they they are good at playing Puchinki Picado compared yeah. to uh, all the other teams. Yeah. Um, first at PGS one. They had a lot of second places in like big events. I this is like the one time where they really sucked. Bro, let me put it like this though. When New Happy won in 2021, yeah. PGC, they had more points in 17 gaming in 15 matches. Yeah. They had two more points in and three. So less that probably games means played. Heroic had more points. Yeah. Heroic would have also gotten more points in three less games. Yeah. Yes. That's interesting. Wait, Heroic didn't win by four points? Yeah. Yeah. Heroic so lost in the know. last game. Oh, I if Heroic would have clutched last the last game, game um, then they would have made they would have passed them. Also, yeah. look at this gap, by the way. It's crazy, no? 50, 15 games, 50 point gap is wild. Two teams farming the lobby. <laughs> yeah. This is like this is how the rotation looked, kind of. It was 180, 180, 120 or something in the rotation. Yeah. Like two teams that are just clearly better than the rest. All right, let's go next. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so Jimbo, right? Um, I want to put PO on. Ah, it's so hard. Like sometimes they're so shit. Sometimes they pull off crazy games. Bro, what it was? It was in Dubai with overpeakers. <laughs> I took Peel's chair because I had armrests on mine and his didn't. <laughs> I was also I also just took it because they were next to us, and they were playing some shit the whole tournament. So I was like, "Fuck this guy! I'm taking his chair." <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so like I don't know, they were so such a meme to us in our biggers in Dubai that we literally just like we just stomped them like you literally two. bullied them so much you took their chair. We pulled up somewhere, like Circle 2, like this spot on the map, and they were just fighting Circle 2 somewhere, and we just like ran and killed them, like every yeah. game. Like it happened like four games in a row. And because of that, I don't want to put them in A tier. Uh, I, think they're better. I think they're better now, because that was Bagopa. Yeah. Maybe we put them... Do we put them behind Tyloo or in front of Tyloo? I'll, ooh, tell, ooh, you, I'll ooh. tell you my opinion after. You decide if you you want to put them in B, yeah. I mean, just just Pio on a team. It's I'll like, put him in front. I would that guy doesn't know how to play a different PUBG than what he does right now, and I don't think he's gonna win with that type of PUBG. Yeah. He could win, but it'll have to be really good zones. I think usually his playstyle just doesn't work. I think they only win if 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 there's no other team that has a good tournament, like you just said, right? Like seventeen yeah. wasn't that crazy, but. People would have to play worse than 17, um, like a, like a, a six point per game kind of thing for PO to win, I would say. I feel like yeah. they're going to be different now too with having a different coach. I find I it like... so so weird that they haven't changed their play style though in so long. That guy must just refuse to change how he plays the game and not adapt at all. Yeah, I mean, I think he is the team. Um, he got, he went to, he had COVID when he came to PGS, right? And he was super sick in, in the groups and they, they were like bottom three or something. They went to lower bracket. Um, he was feeling better there. They were good enough in lower bracket and then they did okay in finals. Yeah. But like without him, they are like dumb. Can you, can you compare, uh, Piro and Genji a little bit? You can, not by playstyle, but by how much they're depending on one person, yes. Yeah, right, because I feel like when it's Pero, it's Ike's left usually, like, yeah. just... Yeah, 100%. Just in a different way, like you said, like, not playstyle-wise, of course, because yeah. Ike's left is not the... Uh... Ike's left's not okay. for you, and he's not... Look at this comment, P 
he or might be on a PNC induced rampage. How the fuck is he not on Team Korea, by the way? That's crazy mm-hmm. to me. Anyways, we should. Should, we should like we should speed it up a bit, guys. I think um, EBS scrims later. Let's just put it in there. Let's just put it in behind servers. I think that's good. I would I would have said that too. I think yeah. they are low B, uh, very high C, but because they can kind of pop off, I think B is good. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to put. Wait, who would did who did who put Piro from us? I did. You put it behind Sarvram? Not on purpose, but. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I figured. I think I'm like, doing. I, I'm, I think I'm okay with that. I think I stand okay, really? by it. Yeah. Because I was already like, wait, I don't think I've okay, shit talked to Arvin, Okay. Yeah. I mean, maybe you, are you honestly, you're right because they're not playing Pachinki Picado. Pachinki Picado Sarvim, I think, is better than Peril. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but they're not playing Pachinki Picado, so you are right. Um, next is uh, um, is QM. Yeah, so, I want uh, to do that. I was right. Um, what? Was I or were you? No, it's my turn. I think. Oh shit! I wanted to do QM, bro. I'm curious. Okay, what you're okay, do. okay, okay. No, I I just wanted to meme to put them in uh, in E tier, but um, that was only a joke. I can leave you QM. I don't care that much. I think Fumba, um, is high B tier. Um, I think on a good day they can be really, really good, and I think they're solid. I think they're. God, I feel like Cerberus is sliding down too much here. Um, no, I think that, this is not. Yeah, this is not fair. This, this is not. This shouldn't be. But no, it's not. But like, I think they're better than Tylu, and I think they're worse than Cerberus. So like, this is getting hard for me now. You know. Um. Okay, let me ask you I'm this. I'm gonna CBA, put like, them here. Let me ask you this though about Fiumba, right? Yeah. Let's say, let's say Overpeakers got back together for this event. Where would you put them? Me? Uh, over peakers? Yeah, for EB. Like, where would you put over peakers if we got back together? Where would you put us? Fuck it. Because it's kind of like Fiumba. A little a bit, bit older, right? Yeah. 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 It's like if some team would get back together. I would put. Or, or even, you could, you could I, even say, I mean, like, what if, what if we went back together, like when we played me, you, Clib, uh, Bard. and Mexi? Mexi? Yeah. Like, where would you put I us? Mean, I would definitely put the over peakers. I would definitely put the over peakers in, in probably B. Okay. But I would, I'll put them in put high B. I would put, yeah, somewhere mid, somewhere mid B ish. I would say. If you have to do it now, like now, suddenly, like Fiumba situation. I think I'd put them in high B. I think so. The way I see it is, I think Fiumba is better than Tylu, but they're worse than Cerberus. Um, and you can make arguments for them being a little bit lower, but I think they have a good chance because of the experience on the team. And probably the sort of, I think if the vibe is good, they can be that no pressure underdog kind of team um, that just kind of rolls up and fucks people over. Because they have Silzen and that guy pulls it off a lot. I mean, they did, win, they did win a week as well, I remember, in two. He, in... he also, he does it all the time. He, he made basically every LAN, um, like I think he missed one big LAN or something. Um, he he did well with Argentina at, at PGC, at, at last PNC. Um, when I feel like they didn't have a very strong lineup, I, I think, feel like this I is think fair. he's doing it again. Do you think they're better than Genji? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, then we leave. Ah, oh. it's hard, bro. It's like, <laughs> you don't know what's going to happen. Genji can, Genji can pull up and get like yeah, a that's top why I'm like... six, maybe. But I think overall, just averaged out across a lot of outcomes, Fumba is slightly better. Because I think they're more consistent than Genji. What did Cerberus get last uh, Malaysia? Fifth or sixth. Okay. Okay. I think they're We're too leaving. low on this list already. A little yeah, bit. I but know. I wouldn't put I wouldn't have pro- I wouldn't have put Tylu in front of them. But yeah. In, anyways, it's gonna be a hard scuff tier list because it's from three people at the same time. It's never gonna be like what everybody wants it to be. Okay, I'm gonna put a question mark. I think in front of, um, I think I'm gonna put question mark in C. Mm-hmm. Definitely in front of Sarvim, because mm-hmm. I do feel like you know they played that last Worlds. They played last Worlds, right? Didn't they get like seventh or something? They actually ended up performing okay at the last Worlds. Yeah. 
They yeah. came back on the last day or something. They looked terrible in group stages, and T-Bone was making the tweets about Dante's <laughs> offline yeah. performance. Yeah. That's so funny. And then they kind of came back um, Bro, and did well. Imagine if Dante does bad one more LAN. Bro. TG, a doozy. Yeah. I mean, I, I rate, I don't know, Piro and question mark. I don't know if I should put question mark in front of Piro. I feel like... I, I would have put question mark in front of Sonics. I would have put question mark in front of Perro for sure. Yeah. But I would it's, it's put... not what this deal is about, know, okay? I don't know in front It's about of your Sonics. opinion. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. Just, I was thinking, like, I was just thinking with the Perro. Yeah. Because, like, that, I just remember them playing good at Worlds, at uh, that last Worlds. I think they had a pretty good experience. I mean, yeah, they've been struggling a little bit, but, like, it takes a little bit time for players to adjust as well. They just got Vesto. They need some adjustments. Yeah. So, and I I feel like they're having a pretty good play style right now. So I think, yeah, I think I'm putting question mark in front of Pero. All right. People, you can't complain about the, the, the tier list, guys, because it's not one of us making the tier list. Like, yeah, you can't complain, chat. No, yeah. you cannot complain. You cannot. Next pick, Jim. <laughs> Who put Sonic from I... us? Who was that? James. I think. Me. Ah, I would have yeah. put them in A, like behind LG, or mm. maybe in front of LG. I would have put uh, them in very, uh, in bro, very B, like very early B, I think. B, B and C are almost similar. Like I would almost put like question mark like similar to Genji. Like I mean, online yeah. online question mark. I would put like here. I and feel like they're gonna. Be, I feel offline, like they're better. That's a here, that's yeah. a fucking. Bro, you're you're calling him out right now. Online no. question mark. What's that supposed to mean? That they're better online. Are they not? Put question mark Are they not Jimbo? Put, I mean, you want to talk have a against that? They have a multitude of online tournaments, and they have one LAN tournament with seven. They have so more, They have a lot more than one LAN tournament. They, they? they were dead last at PGC 2020. They were like... But that's so long ago, though. It's not the same lineup. Yeah. It's like... It's three off the lineup, I think. Maybe... No, it's, it's only two at this point now, I think. Guys, guys, put, put okay. QM behind Genji. Okay. Jimbo, next pick. No oh, but before wait, before yeah. we go, I would yeah. I would just want to say like the way I, the reason I would put QM in front of Sonics is like Sonics is not losing their, their normal spots and they just played bad from Pecado Pachinki, but it doesn't really matter. They're doing different spots now. I think if you would take like let's say Sonics and put them in like El Sahar, El Poso, uh, Impala, then you will ask a question like and QM will always get their normal spots. Which one would do better? You think? I think QM will always do better than Sonics. I think they're the better yeah, that's team. Fair. That's fair. And, but and they have a lot, lot less LAN I mean, experience. In general, bro, it's 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 hard because I rate EU like ten, like I rate EU three or four times better anyways than NA. Like yeah. that's just like yeah. So like Sonics up there is is pretty high, but it's just also because of their previous performance where they didn't do Pachinki Picado and shit, and man. Sonics are getting old. Like isn't three of Sonics like twenty seven plus right now? They all have beard. They're looking like granddads all of them like they're getting really old i think tig is the only young guy on the team right now i don't know how, how old adrian is actually adrian is shrimsy the oldest is, i think shrimsy is still the best player on that team shrimsy is the best player right, i'm gonna stop team. trolling i'm gonna stop trolling okay. i'm just like talking shit right yeah, now yeah, i know you're just talking shit i know shit. people <laughs> i know, I know <laughs> you were just talking shit but like the, the shrimsy one came out of nowhere this year. jimbo when are you getting 27 uh october ah okay 27 already bro by the way <laughs> Are you 27? <laughs> I'm getting it in one month, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, you guys fucking old. Bro, look at Karaka. How old Karrigan. are you, Kolo? Yeah, look at Karaka, bro. bro. You can play PUBG when you're fucking 50, bro. Yeah, yeah. like literally. Like, I, at um, what point PUBG is this going to be like, you know, you're going to be 50, you're going to be the IGL, and you're going to control three fucking 19, 18 yeah, year olds, you know? Three fucking 18 year olds, and you can. You'll be a fucking 40 year old pedo playing with 18 year old. You, you go like, yeah. you're like online, you go to the supermarket, and you have to Jesus show your ID teams, to buy them beers because they're fucking CF17, and you're uh, just like. Can you imagine EB is 40 playing with 18 year olds? Like... <laughs> bro, in a video game, bro. What the? Jesus is bringing this so weird, bro. Oh, Holy bro. fuck. Goddamn. Yo, bless um, Let's go. Next team, next team. Next team. Um, Wait, you, you, yeah, you're up, Devo. I just did question mark. I'm looking at the roster right now. I'm thinking day trade or tornado energy, though. I hate them. They're at on five. Uh, the expendables. 
Yeah, tor- yeah, tornado energy. What am mm-hmm. I saying? Tornado what energy. Does? I hate tornado energy, bro. T E E sports. They, tornado energy farmed my ass in contenders. Okay, I fucking hate them. Yeah, I want to take T E E sports. They were D tier before. Uh, they ruined our. Oh yeah. Our tournament in Dubai so hard. They ruined other people's tournaments so hard. Uh, talk with them at an after party, and they said um, they literally didn't know any macro gameplay in PUBG, and they hadn't been able to learn it in their region, and they learned so much from DGC Dubai that they were going to come back way stronger and play smarter PUBG. So put them in B tier. They are B? cracked. They're cracked. 777. Seven, 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 seven. Yeah, yeah, that guy. Yeah, and Duckhues. These guys are insane. Like... Duckman, Duckman. They are it's insane not Duckman. I know. Duck <laughs> yeah, and I'm I'm putting them there based of them saying that they were gone. They learned so much and they were gonna come back. Yeah, but stronger. then where were they at PGS one? <laughs> Fuck. Hmm. <laughs> 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 yeah, they just took a half year break, you know. It's okay. Yeah. I think that's a reasonable pick. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm gonna take Forest and put them in D tier ahead of Friendly Fire. Kova put. Kova, have you put? C and D tier teams only. You have right. <laughs> yeah, you have three, three of them. <laughs> what? I think. Yo, what a hater. Are they? Yeah, they're all like these three are from me, right? No, Shit. what I'm doing, guys, is I'm 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 taking the regions where you guys said like we don't really know that much about the region. I'm taking care yeah. of. Yeah, it's so smart. You take the L, okay. I'm the hater. It's smart because I do not know where to put anyone else in this list right now. I think Day Trade is now? the only one you can place. Theraton Five is a good APAC team. And then it gets really hard. Wait, what the? F- I can link. I mean, I can show. We can, I can show you how they performed. Um, this is uh, D plus Kia. Uh, they got third, and then if you mine game PT got fourth. I don't know their players at all. They won a tournament earlier this year, like a really small one, like a really small tournament they won. But this is just Korea three and four, and then. Uh, where is APAC? This is APAC. This is APAC. One, two, three, four, five, six. Jesus. Okay. By the okay, <laughs> before we go, quick fun fact. Yeah. Yeah. There's like they put all the APAC regions together, right, into an APAC qualifier. So mm-hmm. there was two invite, three invites for Thailand, two invites for Vietnam, one for SEA, one for Taiwan, one for Japan, to the finals. And everybody else went into the group stage. And zero teams out of these last three regions made it out of the group stage. Only the invited teams out of Japan, OCE, and Taiwan made it into the, got into finals because they got invited. Zero of them qualified. And they got wow. last, 14th, and 11th. Wow. Jesus. Like, APAC is literally just Vietnam and Thailand. Yeah. It's fucking crazy. This is the this is the group stage. It's Only like top Duckman eight. said. Yeah. They get to play a lot though in time. Lucky, lucky. Lucky, <laughs> lucky, 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 motherfucker. <laughs> someone said, I can't remember what the story was. It was Gustav or someone like that. No, actually, this was Nations Cup, right? <laughs> someone said he's so good or something to him, and he just said, lucky, lucky. <laughs> 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 fucking funny, bro. Uh, lucky, lucky. All right. I'm going to put um, E Arena. Mm-hmm. What did they get? Sixth. Yeah. Last I think seed. I'm going to put E Arena in D tier. And I think I'm going to put them behind FF for sure. Like, I think FF are better than... Uh... Also, the main reason... Yeah, like this. This is fine. I opened E Arena on Wait, uh, why Wikipedia? is Forrest in front of FF, by the way? Because they're second in Thailand, which means... That they're probably individually more cr- like second in APAC, which means they're individually more cracked than FF. Um, and I think they probably both don't have very good macro, so I'll take the more cracked team a little bit ahead. Bro, of Bro, it's FF. so hard. Like I'm looking at E Arena and Forest, and I like none of the names of the those players stick yeah. out. Like I've not seen the videos of them or clips or like who's good. I have never seen Forest before. E Arena was the team that picked up Insight. Uh, and then he got removed before, or he left, I don't know, uh, before this tournament. Okay. That's why I know them, otherwise I wouldn't know them. Okay. It is so hard, there's too many regions and players, like, it's crazy yeah. hard to keep uh, up These ones everything. right now that we have, I don't know anything. I mean, yeah. we know they trade. 
Day trade yeah. is probably going to be in... Uh, so DD yeah. team is the last China slot. This is Korea 3 and Korea 4. And then this is APAC 3. Okay. And APAC I... 1. Wait, is it EB or is it my turn? Yours. Okay. Take game PT and throw them in A tier. <laughs> you just troll them, bro. No, bro. Like they, got, they got Bob Sang head on their team, bro. You're trolling. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just Bob saying, Sung. they got Bob Sung Head on their team. Yeah, I know. Bob Sung, Bob Bob Sung. Sung Head is like the big All talent. Right. Twyer tournaments, past tournaments, EME. No, I have uh, it Korea here. qualifier. I have it here. Korea qualifier, player I have stats. It. He has 40 kills in 24 games. Bob Sung Head. Bob Sung Head. All right. Bob, Bob Sung shoots heads. He does shoot head. And he, the rest of his teammates, I do not know. <laughs> uh, type it's has hard. 28 kills. And then yep. the next guy after scroll <laughs> very far. Um, <laughs> they're like in the, the other two are in the bottom third with 17. Yeah, and they 17. both have 17. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I disagree, but that's, uh, that's the nature of the thing. Um, Wait, Type in game PT is 16 years old, so you won't see him in PGS2. Oh really? my god. Are they allowed to play with a 16 year old? Like, Why I mean, would Korea be allowed to play with 16 year olds and Europe isn't? That can be uh, because of like laws and stuff though. True. Like that's as far what as I've heard last What time. law doesn't let people play? With, uh, like PUBG I, I'm not though. sure. I'm not sure. I just, I remember last time this got brought up, it was something about laws. Yeah. I think it was like Cyrus Only with Berlin, 18. right? When I remember when Bell at least. I'm, I don't know. Was it was in Germany now? I feel like if your parents sign a waiver saying, hey, he's allowed to play this, you should be good. At least for 16. Like, come on. Plus one. Plus one. Come Plus on. one. Imagine Plus you're one. like, you can be cracked at the game with like 14 or 15, but nobody's going to like put you under their wing and teach you how to be a good comp player because you have to wait fucking three years. Like, yeah, by that time, the game is already dead. And so. the only thing you can play is PSL, and PSL is over. So, GG. Mm. We need more tournaments. Okay. All right. My turn, I think. Right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Day trade, top C tier, because I feel like we have too many B tier teams. They're decent. They're not great, but they're really decent. They are the. They're hella consistent in APEC, though. They are the APEC team that has macro and that allows them to go to every international. And they still have two super cracked fraggers. So. Lorenz and Flash are both insane. Jesus Christ. What did Kia get? Third in China. No, Korea. Third in Korea. And what is that left team again? Uh, fourth DD in Korea. Team, they are fourth in China. So this is the Adamas Kia. They were 60 Bro, points behind second. Uh... Um, and then China is... I don't have China here. I have China somewhere. All right. Kia... Damn one is damn one tier. That used to be a tier list. I would plus in C called, tier. In are C they tier. called? Are they called different now? Like front of C plus? tier or? Uh, uh, in front of Sarvum. In front of Sarvum. Okay. Are they? They aren't damn one Kia, right? They're just damn one plus now, right? That's what it says on Liquipedia. Yeah, yeah. It's not Kia anymore. It's D plus D or DK Wait, plus. Wait, it is actually Kia. Yeah, D plus D Kia. Yeah, so they're not yeah, Damwon yeah. Kia, they're D plus Kia. Yeah. How are people? People are mad at me for putting day trade into B. Um, they got twelve the PGS two. I mean, I day trade played reasonable. a lot of in day trade played a lot of internationals. I feel like it's kind of good. Like they're kind of like Piro. Day trade was second place in winners bracket PGS one. Who the fuck cares about winners bracket? LG nah, was this is... LG was dominating winners bracket and they got fifteenth or sixteenth. I think they literally yeah. got sixteenth. Who cares, bro? We didn't even make it out of winners and loser bracket. We didn't even get yeah. to fu fucking we didn't even get to prove uh, us. Fucking if you mine GPT has never played an international, um, and there's still an A just because Jimbo can. You know, <laughs> stop putting any sort of any sort of intense thought into this, okay? Yeah, uh, James should have not chosen f with face. Face should have been. I don't know. I, I, was, I was interested. So far, I was interested to hear his, his just thoughts. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Yeah, I didn't even say my thoughts about why I put us there. But I, I don't. I don't know if I want to. Okay. Anyways, next team. 
You're guest trolling? Yeah, because you guys are not guests, okay? These guys are like VIPs, sorry. Um, I got Therathon and I got DD team, right? Yeah. Oh. DD team has Mamu from Peril. Yeah. They have Spaceman and Emo Pig. Those are Mamu has based. killed like three of my fantasy teams because I was like, I'm going to pick Pero, but I don't have budget for Aix left, so I'm going to pick a cheap Pero player. And then yeah. he gets three kills in 12 games. DD team, fourth place. Doesn't even load for me, bro, DD. I, I do not know much about this team. Um, however, looking at their Putting kills, them in S. Looking at kills, they look stable. Like, they have no player pulling weight. They have 25, 19, 25, 25. Very close. Yeah. Which like, means, like, that's, that's good. I value like that when I look at stats. I don't like care much about stats other than when you see like a crazy performance like Souls. Or when I look at a team's kills and you see like Ike's left has 41 and his teammates have 10. Mm -hmm. It's like something's off then. But when a team has stable kills, like they all have kills, that's good. That's a good sign. Wait, is Mamu Mamu Go? Where's Mamu Go? I guess. Wait, yeah. the the guy on DD. Wait, Mamu used to play for Piro, no? Yeah, yeah. That's what Jim said. At oh, least. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I think uh, uh, I value when a guy is called Emo Pig. I think that's a beautiful <laughs> name. <laughs> Emo Pig. I I would put them in B tier. <laughs> okay. They got fourth just now. They have probably like a decent team. And okay. where? In... Um. Yeah, I don't know. Just anywhere. I don't care. In front of Fiumba. I you just have to don't say know where. Okay, um, behind, uh, QM. Okay. Oh. All right. Reasonable, I think. Is that last yeah. one? That's last one for me, right? I think so. Yeah, yeah. Serious questions. Why didn't you put phase in S, Jimbo? Why is phase not S tier? Uh, because we didn't get, like... Didn't, weren't close enough to winning last event. If we were close enough to winning the last event, I would be extremely confident and put us in S, but we were just short. Um, I think if you put, I think if you put phase in S tier, you're absolutely high. Um, you can't put anyone <laughs> in S tier that hasn't like gotten a top two recently or something, or like one, like yeah. something in that region. Yeah. Uh, Theraton 5 is a solid team. Um, I probably should have put them behind Day Trade. I probably should have had Day Trade in B and Theraton 5 in C. Um, but uh, APAC fans are going to be get mad at me anyways, so I can put them in C as well. Um, I think they're just... APAC teams are really hard to judge. Um, and they only, only got third in APAC. Um, by, I guess, a reasonable margin. I don't know. I don't want to put them in front of Pero. I'm probably going to put them here. I feel like Korea is maybe a little bit too low here. Um, eh, but nah. it's the regions that we can't really judge. We're, we're, we're like... Korea is... Korea is... It's like NA, honestly. With a few... Like, with better individual players. Like, a yeah. few really good teams, and then... Because there's a few really bad teams there. They're still pretty, like, they're better shooters in Korea, but some of the teams are just so bad that they just, like, PO farms there. Yeah. Soul farms there. Soul is, like, we're saying he's the best player right now, but, like, if he doesn't, he's, I don't think he's going to come close to to dropping, like, that good performance on international. And if or he like does, it, then that's insane if he does. Do you, uh, he, do you think he would put that in EU? Let's say Dano, I played in EU. There's no way he does you that mean in Genji, EU. Right. Uh, no, Dano. Oh, I, I mean, so like so. Oh, so okay. Do you I think, think Pio drops sixty-five Pio, kills in bro, EU. Pio could probably do similar in EU just because of how he plays the game, but I don't think Sol would. No, I don't think so. I think Sol's performance is just he's a great player, and he just happened to get a lot of kills in those games. That's not something I stars think align. Do. Yeah, I don't think you can do that consistently in PUBG. It's insane though. Poof. I. In how many games? I think games? Sol could. Uh. In, in Korea, 24. In PGS, 18. Mm. Um, both he fucking dominated. 
I don't know. I feel like he can pull that off I've, because he has a way better foundation behind him with Danawa. I just think Danawa is so much better than Genji. I don't know how many of the people that watch that know about Soul, but he he's like 23 or something, 22, 23. He works out. He's pretty healthy. He fasts. Like he's doing all the right things, you know. This guy is like actually taking care of himself, and it shows like he's a consistent player. Doesn't change his sense. Plays the same settings. Yeah, like, he's he's doing stuff the way it kind of should be. That a lot of players are doing. Player. Yeah, <laughs> actual professional. Yeah, we don't have much of that in you. No. Anyways, okay. I already said. I think the thing about I disagree with the most about this list is I said Navi. Now that I'm looking at it, it's GPT. Um, yeah, that's troll. That is has, full yeah, troll. Yeah, that's simple troll then. That, that, that doesn't count. And Another then one. also that doesn't kind count. of, I guess, I fucked up a little bit with day trade. That could just be a little wait, bit higher. Just wait. Um, but yeah. that Those are the things that I don't agree with. What do you think, Evie? I think that Sonic's actually got placed a little bit too high. Mm-hmm. I think that Cerberus should probably be in front of Sonic's. Mm-hmm. I, it's hard. Sonic should definitely be close to Genji somewhere, more on the right side. Other than that, I think, poo. Other than that, I kind of agree. I mean, I don't, I don't know anything about this GPT team or whatever you call it, like the game PT or whatever. So it's hard. But uh, yeah, I think Sonic should maybe be a little bit more to the right. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, it's yeah, good. What do you think, Jamal? I just think QM should be in front of Sonics and uh, Peril should be in B tier because Ike's left is good enough to like. Like, I actually could probably one man squad and be in B tier. <laughs> like, yeah, because DD, what is that team called? DD or something in B? They should probably, like, it's kind of crazy to do that there in front of Piero. Yeah, so it's pretty much just Jimbo picks, right? It's, it's GPT and DD that just don't make any sense. <laughs> I mean, DD, it's just like. And, he, and the other team is teams we don't know anything about, so... Yeah. Yeah, it's hard. You gotta, like, try and put someone up there and give them a chance, you know? We can't just throw everyone, like, at the bottom. Yeah. Just because we don't know anything about them. Ah, true, but, like... So... I mean, yeah, Sonic, Spiro, and then yeah. that DDD team, like, there could be some changes there for sure. Yeah. I mean, I kind of agree. We don't know shit. It's a tier list anyways. I don't know if it... I don't know if we have to... Give someone a chance we don't know, but I think it's okay. Bro, Bob, if anyone deserves the chance, it's Bob Sunghead. Or Emo Pig. Yeah. I'm all fine crazy, with man. just bumping him up a tier because he's called Emo Pig. That's fucking great. You know the song Call Me a Spaceman? Yeah. That shit's gonna be playing when Spaceman lifts the trophy. <laughs> 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 fucking Spaceman and Emo Pig. It's fucking good. Um. Yeah, I think people are no one's nobody's gonna ha be happy about a tier list, but I think I can agree with like twenty teams on this list. Yeah, I think did a pretty good job. And it's a tier list. I had this. I posted a tier list like for PGS one, I think. And then somebody like there's like Twitter AI accounts, right, where they just they just make ChatGPT like print an answer. And someone was like, someone was like replying to one of those. So like, then they, they put a reply under your tweet and it was like, ah, yes, a tier list for an international esports event. Let's interpret much into that smiley face or something. So like even fucking chat GBT knows that tier lists don't mean anything. Nah, tier list is full but, cap. Uh, but it's fun. It's fun. Uh, yeah. I people just think it's stupid it how many uh, people yeah. take it way too serious, uh, yeah, but it's very yeah, fun to make for sure. Yeah. That's the first one I kind of did. I never really made them. I never really bothered because I was like, people are way too yeah. I sensitive. Mean, and People get upset, but do I care? No, right? No, fuck like, it. If you get upset about, um, about someone making a tier list, I fucking, I talked to the Argentinian guys at PNC, uh, 20, what was it? 20, like 2022. And I put them in D tier or something before the event. And they fucking, they didn't know it was me, but they, they saw the tweet and they got fucking giga mad. And then I talked to them at the after party and they were like, that was fucking you? 
you're fucking delusional and you're like i was like bro it's a fucking tier list like how the fuck are you supposed to rate national teams like exactly and especially in a game like this yeah and in a in a three-day event with no group stage no upper and lower bracket just finals like no chance dude i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna be betting this event Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah, let's stick. Well, just let me know, Elio, you bet. I'll, I'll make it happen. Yeah, just give Yo. us give us, give us, us all the juice. Like, oh, you this guy is kind of sick. First? This guy is not in a good shape. Yo, what website actually can you bet on this stuff? Is it allowed even? Yeah, right? I, I, I don't even know. Oh, I don't even know. I've all I'm saying is if you, if you want Navi to die first in one of the games, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, think about... Oh, oh which shit. team loses a player first? Um, Navi. <laughs> You just like open the map stream, you see a whole face clan running on that compound where yeah. one of the guys living. Oh, just Hell four yeah, guys, dog. four guys pulling up on one dude, like taking his car, punching him out or something. I like that. Gotta, yeah. gonna make, yeah. Gonna make that happen. Yeah. All right, you're going to jail. It's okay. Um, should we talk about PNC quick? Sure. Ten minutes, AB. Yeah, we have time. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna go to the PUBG esports Twitter. And yep. uh, we can look at what's announced because they have announced a lot of the rosters. Vietnam. I said this is the most recent. Maybe we should go from the oldest one to most recent one. But I really like what they did. They have a performance invite. Then the best player from the best Vietnamese team, um, which I guess is kind of a performance invite. Um, then they have a vote. And they have three players pick the last guy. I think that's really yeah. nice. I don't know what I don't you guys know who's, think. Who, I don't know if they... Do they have an IGL? Like, I don't know who's the IGL on. No clue. Um, I have no idea. I don't think they do. Maybe Chloris. But Chloris is also, like... He's a fragger, but maybe he's still IGL at the same like, time. Like, I could see, like, a team like this doing really good. I'm just... I don't believe they will when you have... Three man teams going into Nations Cup just because of that fact. I don't think Korea is the good. Korea is top favorite for me. I think Korea is mm. four. They have four, including their coach. Yeah, same for that is. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> Korea is uh, Korea is uh, for me a favorite because if you look at their last player, we should look at Korea next. I think this is a really good roster. I um, think, I mean, they have Heaven. They have Heaven as the exactly. best player, right? Exactly. Korea is like, and heaven Korea is, cracked, is a full so. Danawa plus a cracked Fragger. Like a really, yeah, really cracked Fragger. Yeah, and then fragger. Germany is a full... Oh, you know the German lineup? Who, who's, the, who's missing from Danawa then? Like, I'm watching uh, ahead right now. I'm just salute. watching the stream. Salute is missing. And he was there, yeah. So... Yeah. yeah. So, um... I... Yeah, I don't know. I think it. I'm. I'm Wait, go go Turkey a... again, though. Go what? Go Turkey again, like. Okay. Who who is not in there from from SR uh, from Hal? Sorry. Ruin. Ru Ruin. Um. No. So yeah, this Hal has the same thing. Three players and a coach. Am I trolling? Isn't Ruin the IGL? No, the Mad is the IGL. Isn't it a bit crazy that one of the Star from guys is not in there? Oh, bro, Ruin. I don't is, think so. Like... Oh. Ruin oh, is the Fraga. Have... Ruin yeah, is the yeah, entry yeah, yeah, fragger yeah. guy that shoots a lot DMRs and stuff. Um, the he's, the reason he's not Marco. in is because he was sick one tournament. I wonder if Cold Marco and Ruin are similar players, because Cold Marco, yeah. I think he's similar, no? I, I think, think so. Cold Marco is a racket. I think Cold Marco is probably the best fourth player you could put in this team. Mm -hmm. That being said, Ruin got robbed. But I swear, like, you could just mishmash a lot of Turkish players. They, they all, all play the same play game so... style. Yeah, they all play the same game style. It can't be that hard to, yeah. like... I agree. The problem is, Jimbo, it's not the game style. It's that there is a lot of people that hate each other. Yeah, I guess they have a... Um, like, you can't put Smash in ah. this lineup, for example. Yeah. Um, and people asking, where's Smash? Uh, BBL just didn't perform that well. Uh, Howl performed way better. DA performed better. I think in, in some way you could say Sarvim performed a little better. Sarvim is hard to compare because they only made one event um, and BBL made two, but D BBL performed poorly in two and Sarvim got like third and one or second. Um, so I don't think you should, I think, I don't think you should be too surprised that a Sarvim player is not in there. Uh, I think, yeah. it, I think it's reasonable. I just feel like, 
okay? There's a, there's a saying uh, in, in Germany that you shouldn't throw bricks when you're sitting in a glass house. Um, and I'm going to throw some bricks while sitting in a glass house. I think a region that has enough pro players should not be allowed to have three players. It and, should be almost one from each team in my and opinion. And in like Turkey, it's... you could have easily put a Sovereign player in here. Um, and you could have put Smash in there. Um, and it's, it's, it's the, obviously, it's the exact same for Danawa, if not more. Danawa has a shit ton of cracked players. You have no reason uh, to send three of Danawa. I mean, it only, it only makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It only makes sense if you want Korea to win. Right? It doesn't make, it doesn't make, it just, it only makes sense if you would have three or four players if there's not a lot of people to choose from. Yeah. But there's exactly. how many Koreans, there's how many Turkish players, there's how I mean, many, yeah. like, it, it, there should never... If you have that rule, have it for everyone. It makes no fucking sense that Americas and South America is not allowed three players. China is only allowed one player per team. And then China some is other the reasons. only one that does it good. China is the only one that does it good. I think two is fine. I think the, the, dis the difference between a two-man and a three-man is massive. I don't like this is gonna be it. this is gonna be Danawa trying to incorporate heaven into their team. That's completely different from two duos trying to kind of mesh together, in my opinion. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I think the I difference mean, is massive. Don't you think this event would be? It, it's much more to fun anyway. Watch much more fun to watch anyway yeah. when it's like it's China. Yeah, like one each per team. It would be so much more fun. Yeah, I think and so much more so, of a challenge. I think. One per team is good, two per team is good, three per team is not good. But I would be okay with three per team if it was for everyone. Um, I would yeah. be good if there's just not enough players to choose from. And of course, if it's for everyone, like this. Yeah, yeah but like it, I mean, so... Um, yeah, so it, it, if there's not enough players, it's different. But I, don't, I think you should treat regions with not enough players. You should treat them differently. Because... What do you think? Yeah. What do you think, though? Like, the, shouldn't the, the winning team from last time be able to just go with the same roster? My opinion, if it's if Michael is still playing and Michael is still at a reasonable team, he should go. If Michael yeah. was on a mixed team or he was on like three different lineups this year and they were all shit, I'd be okay with Honey Badger going. Plus one. With the way that it went, Michael made two out of three finals. Uh, they got tenth and eleventh in those finals. Honey Badger made two out of two finals. And they made like 5th and 10th or something. So mm -hmm. he did better, but he did better in NA. Um, Michael should be going. If it's close, the defending team should be able to defend their title. Yeah. Um, if it was a big difference, you could argue that Honey Badger should go. Um, but with how close it was, there's no way. Um... Yeah, I, would, I just wanted to very quickly say, if there isn't, if there isn't three pro players, I think it's okay to change the rules, because then the team is going to be weaker anyways, you know. So mm -hmm. if you can't build a team with take like if you in Germany, right? Let's say you can only have two from Ascend, and there is zero other players that made any regional finals. I think it's okay to change the rules there because you know already that the players you'll be picking is going to be less experienced players, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. But in Korea, you have just no reason to, ever. You have, like, uh, so many players. Ever. Like... And then, yeah, and then it's just the fact that it's different regions for different, like, different roles for different regions is just fucked. But this is, in general, their problem. Constantly, like, having Constantly. different rules. Yeah. In PGS, this in PGS finals, this region is playing 24 games. This region is playing 18 games. This is this. Yeah. This is this. They need to align. They need to really start aligning these things. And they did year. last year. PCS yeah, in every year. region. Same thing in every region. Like they were getting on such a good track, and now they're like, I. This is role play. I don't know. It's yeah. Full full on role play. I, it's just. Yeah, I had the same with even with just the tournaments for PGS. Right, there was a EMEA championship, an America series, there was a challenger rumble, there was a masters league, there was a champions league, there was like 17 different tournaments to qualify from, 
all had a different name, all had a different format, all had a different prize pool. And it's just like, nobody knew what the fuck was going on. Like, the first place in the APAC qualifier got $5,000. Or like, no, 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 the prize pool was $5,000. The first place got like $2,000 or something. It was crazy, right? And, and it's mental. Yeah, I don't know. It's so, it's so not, like, it's so unaligned, and I think that's really bad. We can, uh, we can talk about that next time as well, for sure, and maybe... We'll have all the rosters next time. Yeah, maybe we do some draws. Like, how, how would you, like, maybe we can, like, all say how a, a, a year should, should be like, you know what I mean? Like, we all give our idea on, like, qualifiers and everything, you know what yeah. I mean? And Maybe. By the way, I think we know quite a bit about NA and SA, right? We know two of the NA players. Um, Kickstart and Snakers. Kickstart and Snakers. And then we know that they also announced the format. I don't know exactly. I think there's like one vote at least. Uh, so there's going to be a Sonics player in there. Uh, we know DraftKing and Emmy for Argentina. Um, this was funny. <laughs> They posted these two, and then they said, oops, we did the maths wrong. <laughs> um, so I'm not sure what's going on with Brazil. Surely Sparking is going, right? Has to. But somebody said he isn't. Um, Jesus. I don't know, bro. And yeah, Kanye oh, yeah. Flood for Australia, and then Tiggleton for Australia, surely. Uh, interesting yeah. as well, right, that Flood has better stats than Tiggleton. I think that's a rare. Uh, that doesn't happen that much. Like getting a old, bro. Player. I said it earlier. Sonic's getting old. Yeah, they're getting old, bro. They all have beards and look like they're 40. You heard it here first. <laughs> Toggleton fell off. Yeah. Old gang. Old gang. Um Where the where are all the where are all the, the young IGLs at then, huh? All them youngsters at just just I just be a young cracked guy in IGL, bro. Just, just yeah, do easy it, clap. Bro. Somebody, it, somebody man. asked, okay, I want to hear your guys' opinion. Last, last question, and then we let G Ibi go, because he's got scrims. Um, by the way, the reason Kang is going is because he's the only Australian that played both events. Um, even okay. though they got 16th in one of the events, he's the only one that played both events. I, I don't know this guy, Kang? Yeah, he plays on EXO. Um, okay. it, was, it was clear before they played the last tournament because he's literally the only guy that has two tournaments to farm stats, and everybody else has to farm in one tournament, so... Yeah. Yeah. Um, what do you think? If a country doesn't have four players that are eligible, should that country even be at PNC? Because I think that's not an easy question. Um, no. I don't think they should be. I don't think they should be either. I think it's just... Uh... I think that's arguable, um, but then you compare it to something like Canada, where they, they will have, I don't know where they're getting their four players from, but they will have like four players that have also not achieved very much in North America this year, for example, yeah. and they're still getting a slot. But I think what, it, what people have to figure out first is who should go to Nations Cup. Because you guys are like, or like a lot of people are treating it the way that the best players, the countries with the best players should go to Nation Cup. And that's not what PUBG wants at all. Like PUBG just wants the countries with the biggest PUBG communities to go to Nations Cup. Yeah, because yeah, um, they think that like there would be more viewers, but is yeah. there really like with some of these countries in there, is it really going to matter? That's the good question. That's a really good question. And that's a really hard question like... to answer. Also, I don't, but like... Like you have Canada. to understand it, right? Like, the in, in Europe, by far the largest community is Turkey. Mm -hmm. um, yes. And then it's, like, the Eastern, like, Russia, CIS, and then it's Germany. So they mm -hmm. want those viewers. And there is 100% tons of German viewers that will not watch if there's no German team. I'm pretty sure it's, like, Finland after Germany, right? Could be. Okay. Could I be. Mean, There's a lot of Finnish players too in this game. Somebody said Finland doesn't have a whole lot of people overall. Uh, uh, like the fact that the I I only know from tournament organizers in Europe, um, that this is by a very far. There's a very far gap after Germany, 
And Germany is very far behind Turkey. Um, and Turkey is very far ahead of everyone when it comes to viewership. I never yeah, understood yeah. Norway either, by the way, because there are so many Norwegian players. I feel like it should have community. been Norway this year. There's, they have like four, like the Telia League has like four levels as well or yeah. something. Like, or it's just crazy how, like, it just doesn't make sense. And then you're going to invite Denmark, for example. Yeah. What is fine, because they're going to be a good team. But it's more that like, it's just so many of these things don't align. You know what I mean? It's, With like, Yeah, it's just a weird mix. Because if, if, yeah. if you're saying the good players should go, then Germany shouldn't be invited because we only have three pro players. But then if you're saying the viewers count, then Denmark shouldn't go, right? And Denmark also only has four or th like somewhere between three and five pros, whatever, however you define it. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what the criteria is really. I feel like they're just going to do Norway next year instead of Denmark so that they have every Scandinavian country once. Um, but yeah, and I mean, Sweden. nobody really knows, right? Sweden's, uh, Sweden has Sweden's one just... player that's now retired. <laughs> <laughs> like, who, who, okay, who are you sending for Sweden? Like, Fuzz, Menox, Makandark? Exeter, Exeter, Menox. Yeah. Like, Makandark. Sorry, if I'm, I'm not trying to disrespect any Swedish comp players, but name a Swedish comp player in a European final this year. I can get Foss Molman, Mac and Dark. Uh, I said in an EU final this year. Yeah, yeah, I'm just... Yeah. Yeah. What about can't the name anyone, bro. I'm just, yeah. I'm just uh, rambling about a lineup. Bro, we got a team ready, bro, for the Netherlands, bro. Trust. <laughs> <laughs> you got in. Tig on your team. Fucking, is it a Tig who has like a... Tig has a fast yeah, forward, yeah. yeah. He's yeah, got to get like, over here, bro. You Tig need him. Just so for Netherlands. Elsie, if Tig doesn't make Elsie, we'll take Tig. Yeah. We got Ironic, you know, and we'll get a... Trico back or something, you know? We'll get... Uh, Faye coaching. Probably... Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. We, we got a team. Get we Trico out of retirement. I think he's the best shot. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm not hating on, on Sweden, but there's not... There's no... Like, that's the thing, right? There's no comp... There's no big comp scene in Sweden. There's a massive comp scene in Norway. Um... And there is, there is a big, big comp scene in Finland. So that's why I don't understand why Denmark's in there, kind of. But, yeah. Nobody, I think we'll never mm. understand. That's just not... I don't think they understand it themselves either. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, let, let, let's switch it up, you know. This it's probably is. like what you said. It's probably what you said. They're just rotating Scandinavians, like... Yeah, but... Maybe yeah. Sweden's next. Like they don't, maybe they don't know anything. And fucking Sweden's going to be the next one. You never know. <laughs> but that would just be funny, honestly. That would just be fucking funny. They don't do that, bro. Unless unless Sweden really comes back and they have like a lot of comp players, I don't think they do that. They yeah. can't. Um maybe we'll have maybe we'll have Russia coming back in like next year if, if something majorly changes or something, you know? You never know. Um I just I uh I'm I'm still I'm I've given up on the dream of like regional qualifiers for PNC. I think it'd be mm -hmm. insane. 16, so 16 European I mean, I teams that fight it out for the four slots would be so good. There was one caster telling me that we would have that this time, but uh, it didn't happen. I, I think that caster is no. Danish. <laughs> I think they wanted to save money, so yeah, GG. <laughs> that sounds like a story from a Danish caster. Yeah, um, that might be a Danish uh, caster. Anyways, um, ah. yeah, I just think, think about it, right? It's by far the best way to go for competitiveness. And I think it's a sick tournament. People would love a Europe Cup, right? Sure. Um, like have the best six, even if it's just the best six, 16 European teams, a uh, three day final, that people would still fucking love that. Yeah. Um, it would get more viewers probably too than the yeah. actual, uh, yeah. than the recent uh, qualifiers 100%. for the PGS. Um, but the thing is, that means you have to have a national qualifier for all of these countries and then the regional qualifier and then PNC. Now do that for every region and it's like GG. Um, yeah. And then if you don't have the, uh, if you don't have like a 16 team final and you have like multiple team Finland's and shit and multiple team, uh, team Norway's whatever, 
um, then you get into this really awkward spot where people don't really know who to support. And like first and second place could both be Finland, but only one of them can go and shit. So that's all kind of awkward. So you kind of need a regional qualifier first, in my opinion. Oh yeah, to make the best teams go. To, go, to only make yeah. the best Finnish team go to the Europe Cup. Yeah. And then you're putting in a lot of time and a lot of work. Um, when it's really just like PUBG isn't even PUBG isn't even saying that it's an esports tournament, right? It's kind of like a. I mean, they're saying it's an esports tournament, but it's not like you're not trying to determine the best team ever. You're trying to like have a info, like fun, uh, fun tournament for viewers to enjoy. Yeah. Um, cool. Yeah. I got to cut you there. I have to go. Yes. Because otherwise, <laughs> I need to eat and stuff. Yeah. All right. It was fun, guys. It's good. I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was good. I, we have probably uh... much more to talk about and some other things we can maybe plan next yeah. time as well. That was part two of episode 10. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, first live episode for us. So it uh, wasn't maybe as, as clean and polished as you'd like. Uh, just watching it back, I feel like I interrupted EB about 45 times. I'm definitely going to work on that and make sure I don't do that again. But yeah, leave me all the feedback uh, that you have for this episode. Let me know what you want to see. And at the time of filming this, we are 10 subs away from YouTube partners. So if you enjoyed the episode, um, feel free to subscribe to it on YouTube. And uh, yeah, do all that good free stuff, you know, comments, liking, subscribing. And I'll see you guys very soon.